and welcome to another video by Ian Talk. With the sudden massive outbreak of COVID-19 or coronavirus here in Korea, it's been getting pretty crazy out here. People are working at home, the streets are pretty empty, it's nearly impossible to get your hands on masks, and almost all upcoming late February and March movies have been delayed. I sincerely do hope everyone is staying safe out there and stay cautious of highly concentrated areas. That being said, I've had a little more time on my hand and making lemonade out of lemons, I've done some research on and compiled a list of upcoming movies in 2020. A quick note before going into the list, the order of the movies aren't in any specific order and are at random. Also, majority of the movies here don't have an official English title yet, and a lot don't even have a fixed Korean title either, so keep in mind that the names of these movies may change at any time in the near future. And lastly, upcoming movie releases that I already have trailers out for such as Time to Hunt, Intruder, Innocence, and Call weren't included in this list. Okay, this video may be on the longer side as there are a lot of great Korean movies upcoming, so grab a drink and snack, sit back, and get relaxed. Now then, let's find out what movies are to come. First, Chepari de Pam, or the literal English translation, The Eighth Night. The Eighth Night is a mystery slash thriller directed by Kim Tae-young, and I believe this is his directorial debut. The movie stars Lee Sung-min, Park Hye-jun, Kim Yoo-jung, and Nam Da-rum, and the quick synopsis of the movie is as follows. The day that does, but does not exist. The Eight Nights to prevent the resurrection of quote-unquote, it that will plunge the world into chaos. The inevitable battle begins. Next, Ipsurun Andeo, which is a working title, or the literal English translation of Not the Lips. This is a comedy directed by Cho Eun-ji, who's actually an actress who starred in movies such as Nailed, True Fiction, The Villainous, Confession of Murder, and The Concubine. Exciting to see how she does in the director's role. Not the Lips stars Ri Sung Yong, Oh Nara, Kim Hee Won, Lee Yoo Young, Song Yu Bin, and Bu Jin Song, and the quick synopsis is as follows. Hyun, a bestseller author who's been suffering from writer's block for seven years, meets the genius aspiring writer, Yu Jin. The first crime slash thriller of the list is Inji. The literal translation of the movie is Hostage, and the movie was directed by Pil Gam Song, who's having his feature film debut with this. We don't have much info about this movie yet, but what gets me really excited is the fact that Hwang Jung Min is starring in it. Unfortunately, we don't have a synopsis or any further background info about this movie yet. Moving along, the next movie is Tambo or Collateral. Collateral is a drama directed by Kang Daegu, who directed Harmony and was the assistant director of Confidential Assignment in Haeundae, so he's had some good experience. The film will be starring Song Dong Il, Ha Ji Won, Kim Yoon Jin, Kim Hee Won, and Park So Yi, and the short synopsis of the movie is as follows. In 1993, the fierce-looking but warm-hearted private moneylender, Tusok, unintentionally becomes the guardian of Seung Yi when Seung Yi's mother, who borrowed money from Tusok, is deported after being caught as an illegal immigrant. Through Seung Yi, Tusok learns the meaning of family. The fifth movie is Kingmaker. This drama film was directed by Pyeon Sung Hyun, who directed The Merciless and My PS Partner, and will be having the great lineup of Seol Kyung Gu, Lee Sung Yoon, Yu Jae Myung, and Cho Jin. The short synopsis is as follows. The fierce election war between Kim Eun Bom, a politician dreaming of becoming the president, and Seo Chang Dae, the man behind an unbelievable campaign strategy, begins. Next, The Golden P, or the literal translation of Hot Blood, is an upcoming noir film directed by the first-time director, Chun Myung Gwan. The movie will be starring Chung Woo, Kim Gap Soo, Choi Mu Song, and Yoon Ji Hye. A short background info about the movie is as follows. The story of a man born and raised on the outskirts of Busan getting involved in a fierce war between organizations to survive. OK Madam or OK Madam, the little translation, is a comedy directed by Lee Chora starring Eum Jung Hwa, Park Song Woong, and Lee Sang Yoon. The director also directed Insane and Love Me Not. The short synopsis is as follows. Mi Young, the boss of a famous bakery, and Seok Kwan, a computer repair specialist, are a couple that must save their family after they are hijacked on their first family vacation. Moving on to the next movie, The Golden Holiday, is a comedy slash crime slash action directed by Kim Bo-wan who also directed Ordinary Person and The Hero. The movie will be starring Kwak Do-won, Kim Dae-myung, and Kim Sang-ho, and the quick synopsis is as follows. On his first overseas vacation, 
the countryside cop gets swept in a global crime case. Next is the first Korean historical drama on the list, Kamgek, or Swordsman. Swordsman will be the directorial debut for Choi Jae-un, but he's worked in the arts department of other productions, so it'll be exciting to see how he's able to translate his past art-related experiences into his new movie. The movie will have the lineup of Chang Hyuk, Jung Man Sik, and Cho Ta Slim, and the short synopsis is as follows. The story of Swordsman who faced the chaotic situation of the Myeongchung period of Joseon Dynasty. 네 부모 얼굴이 보고 싶다, or the literal translation of I want to see your parents, is the next upcoming movie on the list. This is a drama directed by Kim Ji-hoon, who directed the likes of Tower, Sector 7, May 18, and Mokpo the Harbor, and will be starring the veterans Seo Kyung-gu, Oh Dar-su, and Chun Hui. The short synopsis is as follows. A male student at a prestigious international middle school is found unconscious in the lake, and the parents of the classmates of the boy are called into the school. Another exciting thriller that's coming in 2020 is Control. Directed by Han Jang-yuk, who was in the assistant director position for the classic Korean thriller, Old Boy, this is one of the most highly anticipated thrillers of the year. The movie will be starring Park Hye-il, Jung Woo-in, and Oh Dar-su, and the quick synopsis of the movie is as follows. The confrontation between a criminal wearing a mask of an elite, who knows he's made a wrong decision due to a past wound, and the father who lost his daughter to the criminal. Moving on. Fly High is a drama directed by Han Gyeong Tak, who's having his directorial debut with this movie, I believe. The movie will be having the actors Song Il Guk, Jeon Soo Jin, and the quick synopsis of the movie is as follows. The drama about a special friendship between a gangster and a girl who does martial arts. Another upcoming Korean historical drama is Cha Sa Nobu, or Book of Marine Biology. Directed by the experienced Lee Juni, whose past directorial works include Dongju, The Portrait of a Poet, Happy Life, King and the Clown, Radio Star, and The Throne, the movie will be starring Seo kyung gu Pyeon yo an Lee jung un and Do Yi. The short synopsis is as follows. The story of Jung Ak-jeon, who was exiled to Hoksan Island, meeting Chang Dae, a young man living on the island, and their friendship that overcomes their age and class differences, and writing the first book of marine biology in Joseon Dynasty. 내가 죽던 날, or the literal translation of The Day I Died, is a drama film directed by the feature film first-timer, Park Ji-wan. The movie will be having the cast lineup of Kim Hye-soo, No Jung-hee, Lee Jung-un, and Kim Son-young, and the quick synopsis is as follows. On the night of a typhoon, a girl disappears at the edge of a cliff, and hyun Su, a detective, begins to chase after her trace. The next movie is Pipeline. Pipeline is a crime film directed by Yuha, whose past directorial works include familiar movies, Gangnam Blues, Howling, and A Dirty Carnival. The movie will be starring Seo in Guk and Lee soo Yuk, and the short synopsis is as follows. The story about criminals who dream of turning their lives around by stealing oil, the black diamond of the underground. Sorikun, or The Singer, is the third Korean historical drama on the list, and was directed by Cho jung Lee. Cho jung lees other directorial works include Spirits Homecoming and Foul Ball. The movie has the cast lineup of Lee Bong-geun, Lee Yuri, Kim Dong-wan, Kim Ha-yeon, Kim Min-jun, and Park Chol-min, and the quick synopsis is as follows. The story of a Pansori singer during the chaotic times of the 10th year of King Young-jo. This next movie is one of my most highly anticipated movies of 2020, Taman Agesso Kuwasoso, or But Save Me From Evil. This is a crime slash action slash drama directed by Hong Won Chan, who directed Office, and the reason I'm so excited for this movie is because of the cast. But Save Me From Evil will be starring Hwang Jung Min, Lee Jung Jae, and Park Jung Min, all amazing actors. If you see my other videos, you know Hwang Jung Min is my favorite Korean actor, and New World is one of my favorite Korean movies, and so to see Hwang Jung Min and Lee Jung Jae, who both starred in New World, reunited in this movie, I can't wait to see this film. The short synopsis of the movie is as follows. A criminal action drama about a man chasing down and getting done his last hit mission. The next movie is the first and only musical drama on the list, Yeongung or Hero. Directed by Yoon jae Yoon, who directed Haeundae and was on the production team of The Negotiation, Keys to the Heart, Confidential Assignment, and Ode to My Father, Hero has an amazing lineup of Jung Sung Hwa, Kim Go Eun, Nam Moon Hee, Jo Jae Yoon, Bae Jung Nam, Lee Yeon Woo, and Park Jin Joo. The quick synopsis is as follows. The unforgettable last year of An jung Gun, who died after killing Hirobumi Ito in Harbin in October 1909. 
Chung Sang Redam, or Summit, Steel Rain, is an upcoming sequel to the 2017 film, Steel Rain. This action slash drama was directed by the same director who did Steel Rain, Yang Woo Seok. Side note, Yang Woo Seok also directed The Attorney. Summit Steel Rain stars Chung Woo Sung, Kwak Do Won, and Yu Yeon Seok, and the quick synopsis is as follows. In the near future, a crisis arises before a war breaks out after the three leaders of the Inner Korean Summit were kidnapped by a North Korean nuclear submarine in a coup. Moving along, Sinkhole is a disaster comedy directed by Kim ji Hoon, the same director who did I Want to See Your Parents mentioned earlier. What's amazing is that he started filming this movie right after the filming for I Want to See Your Parents finished. Sinkhole would be starring Cha Sung Won, Kim Sung Yoon, and Lee Gwang Soo, and the short synopsis is as follows. After saving for 11 years and finally buying his own home, this home comes crumbling down due to a sinkhole. Sori Do Wopshi, or Voice of Silence, is a crime slash comedy by the feature film first timer, Hong Yee Jung. The movie will be starring Yu Wai In and Yu Jae Myung. The quick synopsis is as follows. Tae and Chang Bok works for a criminal organization, but they get caught up in a whirlwind of events due to unexpected requests. Next, Collector is a crime movie directed by Park Jong Bae, and we don't have much info regarding this movie yet, besides the fact that it will be starring Lee Jae Eun, Cho Woo Jin, and Im Won Yee. This next movie is probably one of the most well-known 2020 releases, as well as the most anticipated. Pando, or Peninsula in English, is the follow-up to the globally recognized zombie phenomenon, Train to Busan, and was directed by the same director of Train to Busan, Yeon sang ho Peninsula will be having the actors Kang Dong-won, Lee Jung-hyun, Lee Re, Kwon Hye-yo, Kim Min-jae, and Koo kyo -won. and the quick background info about the film is as follows. An action blockbuster taking place four years after Train to Busan, depicting the struggles of those left in the ruins. Moving on, Chujang Suza, or the literal translation of Business Trip Investigation, is a disaster slash action drama directed by the first time director, Park Chor Wan. The movie will star Pei Song Woo and Chong Ga Ram, and the quick synopsis is as follows The story of the veteran troublemaker detective, Che Yok and Chung-ho, a new detective leaving on a business trip to Seoul to reinvestigate a mysterious murder. Next, Tuk Sung, or Special Delivery, is an action comedy directed by Park Tae-min, who also directed Sundar, The Man Who Sells the River, and Private Eye. This film will be starring Park so Dam, Song se byo Kim Yi-sung, and Chong yeon jun and the quick synopsis is as follows. Eun-ha, a driver with a 100% success rate, who delivers anything for money, is caught up in an unexpected accident after a child gets into her car. Sobok is another highly anticipated crime slash action that's coming in 2020. Why is it highly anticipated? Because it was directed by Lee Yongju, who not only directed Architecture 101 and Possessed, but was also on the team of arguably Bong joon best work, Memories of Murder. Not only this, but the cast features A-list actors Gong Yoo, Park bo Gum, and Cho Woo Jin. The short synopsis of Sobo is as follows. Former intelligence agent ki Yun, who is on the brink of death, is caught up in a dangerous incident while on the pursuit of Sobo, the first human clone of mankind, who has a secret to eternal life. The first science fiction movie on the list is Chukji An and Ingan Palm, or The Night of the Undead. Directed by Shin Jong Won, who didn't have any notable past directorial works in my opinion, this film will star Lee Jung Hyun, Kim Sung Woo, So Young Yi, Yang dong and in Lee Mido, and the short synopsis is as follows. So Yi marries her husband who seems to have it all, that is, until she tries to reveal the secret of her husband's unwavering physicality, and her husband tries to kill her. Before she gets killed, So Yi and her friends try to kill her husband first. Another science fiction upcoming in 2020 is Anchor. Anchor is a science fiction slash comedy slash thriller and was directed by the feature film first timer, Jung Ji Hyun. The movie will star Chun Woo Yee, Lee Ae Young, and Shin Ha Yoon, and the quick synopsis is as follows. Sarah, a leading anchor of a broadcast station, receives a call from a mysterious informant saying she will be killed. Lee Sang Han Nara's Suakja, or Mathematician of Wonderland, is a drama directed by Park Dong Hoon, whom I'm not familiar with in terms of past works, and will be starring Choi Min Sik and Kim Dong Hee. The short synopsis of the film is as follows. The story of a genius mathematician who defected from North Korea meets a high school student. This next film is another we don't have much info about yet, Kwang Wa Moon. Directed by Kwon Nam Gi, this drama film will star An Song Gi, Song Chang Yi, Jeon So Min, and Choi Jong Won. 
And that's just about all we know so far regarding this movie. Next, Sehe Jonya, or New Year's Eve, is a romance drama directed by Hong Ji Young, who also directed Will You Be There and Marriage Blue. The film stars the great cast lineup of Kim Kang Woo, Yoo In Na, Yoo Yeon Seok, Lee Yeon Hee, Lee Dong Hee, Yeo Mei Ran, Choi Soo Young, and Yoo Tae Woo. And the short synopsis is as follows. A film about the romantic week of four couples overcoming different fears ahead of the new year. Moving along, Mission Possible is a comedy spy action movie directed by Kim Young-ju, who will be having his directorial debut with this film. Mission Possible will star Kim Young-wang and Lee Sun-bin, and the quick synopsis is as follows. A comedic spy action drama about an incident in which a Chinese national security agent named Yu Da-hee mistook the president of a detective agency, Lu Su-an, as an NIS agent and gets caught up in a dangerous operation. Oh Moon Hee or Oh My Grand is a comedy drama directed by Chung se gyo and the film will star Na Moon Hee, Lee Hee Jun, Choi Won Young, and Park Ji Young. This is the director's feature film directorial debut, I believe, but has directed a documentary and was the assistant director for other works before. The quick synopsis of Oh My Grand is as follows. Tu Won, the son, and Moon Hee, the mother suffering from dementia who is the only witness, tries to solve the hit and run case involving the daughter, Po Mi. Moving on to the next movie, Hengbok and Naruto, or To the Happy Land, is a drama directed by Im Sang-soo, who also directed the likes of Intimate Enemies, The Housemaid, The Taste of Money, and The Old Garden. Starring Choi Min-sik and Park Hae-il, the short synopsis of the movie is as follows. Two men meet by chance on a special journey together to find their last happiness in life. Next, Stellar is a fantasy comedy drama directed by the director of My Annoying Brother, Kwon soo Kyung. Stellar will star Son Ho Jun, Lee Kyu Young, Jeon No Min, Ho Sung Tae, and Ko Kyu Pil, and the short synopsis is as follows. The story of Young Bae, a dominant player in the car-backed loan industry, taking his father's legendary Stellar to find a high-end supercar stolen by his best friend. These next two films are movies that may not be released in 2020 and may be coming in 2021 or possibly even a later date, as the filming for the movie started fairly recently. First, Chabek, or the literal translation of Confession. This is a thriller directed by Yoon jong seok who directed Marine Boy, and has a cast of So ji seok Kim Yoon jin Nana, and Choi kwang il I'm very excited to see the return of So ji seok on the big screens. The quick synopsis is as follows. The story of a man and his lawyer who are suspected of being involved in a secret murder case. And finally, Chuga, or the English literal translation, Vacation is a fantasy drama directed by Yuk sang Yo, who also directed Inseparable Bros and He's On Duty, and will be starring Kim hye Suk, Shin Min-na, Kang gi Young, and Hwang Bo-ra. The short synopsis of Vacation is as follows. The story of a miracle in which a mother comes down from heaven for a three-day vacation to live besides her daughter. That concludes today's video on upcoming Korean movies in 2020. Which of these movies are you most excited to see? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to also like the video to show me that you're enjoying my vids, and also subscribe if you're new so that you'll be able to see more Korean movie related content. Also, if you love the work I do, your support on Patreon would be very much appreciated, first link in the description. I sincerely do hope the coronavirus will simmer down and we'll be able to meet these amazing movies soon. I'll upload the English subtitle trailers of the movies once they are out as soon as I can, so be on the lookout for those as well. If you have any other opinions or requests, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them. That being said, thank you to everyone that watched till the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.